Ever wonder how Native Americans used to dress thousands of years ago? Well, I asked some people this question and asked them what is the first thing that comes to your mind and how the typical Native American used to dress. Here are their responses. Not that these responses are wrong, but they are also pretty stereotypical, and there is so much more to just animal heights, moccasins, headbands, and feathers. Let's go back in time to see. Every tribe varied in their uniqueness behind their style and design of their clothing. In general, Native Americans were very resourceful with their materials, and were never wasteful with their products. For every animal that was killed, almost every part would be used. The meat of the animal would be cooked and prepped for meals, their bones constructed into useful tools, and their hides used to make clothing. In Northern America, deer skin and rabbit fur were very common in the materials that they used for their clothing, due to the fact that there was a need for warmth. Other areas of North America would use a plant fiber known as agave to make their clothing, or if you were wealthier, you could use cotton. Bark clothing and feather cloaks were also very popular types of materials that tribes found in Eastern America such as the Taroke tribes would use. Pieces of bark from trees would be peeled off, bent until flexible, and then spun into woven cloth-like material. Women of the Native American tribes were the typical designers and clothing makers. They worked very hard to incorporate decorations, beads, and other symbolic objects into their clothing designs to represent significant pieces of their tribes, family members, and even power and status. Even though every tribe incorporated their own unique styles and designs, the typical Native American clothing that men would wear would consist of something known as breech cloaks or breech cloths. These were long pieces of rectangular animal hide or cloth that was tucked over a belt so the remaining piece would flap and fall in front. Some tribes would loop the breech cloth outside of the belt while others would tuck them in for a more fitted type look. Breech cloths could be worn along with leggings, especially in colder climates. Leggings were used for protection and would either be made from buck skin or soft heat. They are not like the typical leggings that are worn today, for they are separate pieces and are put on each leg individually and then tied together to the breech cloth belt. Some would have a fringe design, some were painted or were used with colorful patterns or decorated with beadwork or quill work. For extra protection, garters were tied around the knee to keep them in place. An apron panel or a breech cloth apron is a decorated piece of heath or cloth that men would wear on special occasions. Today, breech cloth aprons are worn with other traditional men's outfits that would also include a breech cloth, but it is not as apparent as it was in the past. Typical Native American clothing that women would wear would be skirts or leggings similar to men's leggings. Again, the style, design, and material used to make skirt and leggings would vary from tribes. Some women would wear tunic or mantles in public, while some women would not wear a shirt at all. American Indian dresses were also very popular among tribes. Dresses could be made from deer skin or other type of animal hides or materials. Women would also wear moccasins or boots that would then be tucked into their leggings. Hairstyles and jewelry were very significant and symbolic pieces that would represent the uniqueness of each tribe. For example, the Cherokee and Iroquois men would shave their heads and leave only a little hair on the top of their heads, which today is what we know as a mohawk. Men who lived in the plains, such as the Sioux and the Blackfeet tribes, would keep their hair long in two braids on each side of their head. Some women from the Chinook tribe would cut their hair short, while others would keep it long. 
Beads would be made from pearls, shells, and copper, and then would be traded amongst each other. After news of the gold rush and the idea of manifest destiny began to flourish, people from all over flooded to the United States for new land, resources, and opportunities. After Native American tribes were driven from their homes and forced into close contact with other tribes and integrated among new settlers, Native American clothing began to be shared amongst these new settlers. This idea of colonization brought about a huge change in the typical clothing of Native Americans. Indians then began to adopt and adapt to European customs and clothing and began integrating their style into their own. Slowly, original pieces of Native American clothing began to fade away. Only today do some tribes wear traditional Native pieces such as buckskins, ribbon dresses, beaded moccasins, breechcloth, leggings, and headdresses during religious ceremonies. It is important to become aware and reflect on the significance of Native American clothing and their contributions that they have provided us that have been taken for granted. This way, the continued stereotypes regarding how they once dressed or acted will begin to change and shape how the traditional Native American once was.